got to say, this is probably one of the most aggressive duels that we've had today on actual Arcane. Like, not to like either say like I know like it's a kids show at the end of the day, you don't see blood like that, or you don't see nothing like that. But I've got to say, the ending of this duel was just brutal. Like, just absolutely like when I'm thinking, okay, I think generally someone is either being killed, lost a limb, or in pain. Like, if I didn't realize it was you, you guys, you would have said that person just died. <laughs> like, that character just literally just got blown up and died. It's like holy fucking shit. Like, I really wasn't expecting the ending of this episode. So going throughout the entire duel, it was literally Yuzu versus Sergei, which to be fair, like, Sergei from like, the last year, from what we saw, was like, really wasn't anything to be, like, up on or anything special or anything. He was just like, oh, he barely got in. He's like, the reason why he didn't even try, though, for what the reason we got told, is like, oh, it isn't, you know, it wasn't fun or anything. It wasn't anything to deal with. His deck was very weird. It was like a fawn deck, which uses like zero attack and like none of them have any. Just keeps putting them in attack mode and like their whole thing is like, oh, you give up like 400 life points, you can like special summon them, negate attacks. Like and throughout the entire duel, like uses like what the fuck? And she's going in. She's like winding him out. And even like when he tried to bring like this effect damage thing, which is like one of the things that they work around is like, oh, they deal fawn counters with the synchro one. You have the strap card. It doubles the damage what pe uh, people take. So he would take like I think it was about like 800 a turn. She would take like. 2400 a turn. She just easily wiped out Alex just summoned the fusions. She tried one of the new Diva cards, which was like again like 300 attack points, I believe. That every single like I believe Diva in the like uses fusion material, so it had like three of them. It had like the 2400 one, the 1400 one, and I think it, the other one was 1100. I believe that it was like just fusion them going in and do two attacks for a turn, and it just was going. The like, user was going in. I can't admit, but fucking Sergey. When he comes out, like, he, like, breaks his limiter because, obviously, he's, like, a fucking cyborg or something. And when he pulls off the limiter, which he just does because he's, like, oh, I like beautiful things. Like, he's very sadistic and very, you know, like, he loves getting, like, like torture upon himself. Like, he's, like, one of those guys. I'm, like, I'm not into that kind of shit. Like, I'm into getting fucking beaten up and falls right down to you. It's, like, you're into that kinky shit. That's your own fucking thing. But Sergey seems to be enjoying that. And he's, like, oh, like, and even, like, fucking Yuzu actually was concerned about this guy because there was like a giant fucking boulder that like hit his arm cutting it up and she's like can we stop this duel like the guy's seriously hurt and in pain he's like no nah, i love this bitch she's like well, are you fucking kidding me and when she put when he pulls out the fucking fusion which was val val or something like that it was cool like, it was a combination of the three monsters like that which one of them just looks like nightmare wheel like it looks horrendous like some of this stuff it turns out its effect is it gets all like it gets your life points minus twenty five hundred I believe like um from its attack which tur like turns out to be like goddamn fucking powerful I think it was like forty eight hundred around by the end it was really strong and then you can use its uh, pay a hundred life points turns one of your monsters into like I think like a hundred attack points so it kind of reminds me a little bit of like black rose dragon but the deck kind of reminds me a bit of the bell at the same time i think that's maybe the whole thing that they were going for and pretty much usually went to try and get an action card and pretty much what happened is like literally sergey went the other way and just smashed that bitch right up and even fucking yuzu went through a building she went through one of the fucking legit buildings explosion goes off there's a giant hole like yuya flips the fuck out god yes i'm like just oh my god yes i'm like, just screaming that out and i'm like he's got a jewel next star like they're just like okay we'll deal with this because obviously you're probably wondering like why were they dueling outside it was mainly because like since the whole building was fucked up that's pretty much the main reason and it flew out and so now you know they while they're trying to repair that part of the building because of dennis and like kurosaki that's what's that's happening there. So it makes me wonder if that actually didn't happen. Would Yuzu still have been okay? I think she would have flied, flown into the fucking crowd. And when the crowd would have been killed. But still that's a lot. Obviously you know that Yuzu's alive. Otherwise that would just be like. That would be a really change of events of Yu-Gi-Oh. Like, and I don't think they would ever do that in a kid's show. Obviously she's going to be fine. But yeah. Now you just got a uh, duel whilst worrying about a fucking like love interest. Like being in a fucking building on fire. And it's like. It seems like no one's really going to do anything. So I imagine maybe like someone's gonna come out there and like rescue like some one of the good guys maybe. So a bit concerned about that. Like that was pretty horrific to see. I mean I that was just kind of shocking. I never expected Yuzu in like a hundred years in the entire the Ark of the E series just to literally get hit for a building, get crushed, and like just literally in a fucking car crash. Like that 
really wasn't expecting that. Overall, this was a really good episode. I mean, a lot of the time I was just like, okay, come on, let's see the gimmick, let's see what... Because, honestly, from a lot of it, it was like, really, what's Sergei going to do? This is either going to be a two-part episode where, like, Yuzu kind of gets over the gimmick and kind of, like, overcomes it. But, like, how, like, Sergei's been, like, prompted in the opening, I don't think he was going to do that. Or, like, pretty much it's going to be this episode, she's going to get one shot at one point, or, like, just get obliterated by the deck at one part. So... It was kind of run of the mill with that, but honestly, that ending really did shock me about what happened in this episode. So honestly, I give this one a full and solid eight. I thought this was a great episode. There was not one bit I was like, come, go, go, go. But I mean, it, could, it did get a bit a little pred uh, predictable right about the end, what exactly he was kind of doing. But yeah, Sergei, definitely fucking intimidating. I can definitely say that much. And I hope like you, you or someone like him fights him in the finals. So I'm looking forward to that. But that's all for me. So thank you so much for watching as always. And I'll see you guys 